I'm here today at Sewing Machines UK down in Gillingham and we have here a 1055X from Brother, the um, PR 10 needle embroidery machine. Uh, so obviously you can see it's a very big box. Uh, we have a lady coming to uh, come and have a bit of training on this today. So we're gonna wait till she gets here and then we're gonna open it up. So we'll do a bit of an unboxing and then we'll go through and do a little bit of training, setting it up uh, and the basics to get yourself going.
Okay, so we're going to go through a few of the uh, more specific features of this machine because it's quite a specialist machine. Uh, it's got the camera built into it so it can um, scan your fabric in your hoop. Um, you've also got the design centre built in. Um, so we'll go through some of those other uh, features um, just to let you know it's a slightly different format to the videos we normally do. I think it won't like it because there's too many, probably too many colours here. Mm. But you can also reduce the number of colours that are in it as well, so that's quite useful. Yeah. Oh, that little that large bit stippling around the edge. Right. So you can also choose what frame you're using. <coughs> so if you do several, what we're going to do <coughs> the 5x7, for example, it will fill the hoop around the edge with the stippling. Oh, okay, all the way. And you can change the distance away from the design and the spacing between the um, stippling as well. Oh, I look at that one too. It's so nice. go through. So when I did a lot of photo stitch I'd always want white and black on there but sometimes it would take it off and then I'd put it back on again. Mm -hmm. So you can unlock, so say that black is, is on number one now, I can, it's, well it's called anchor really, but it won't change that from a black now so right. it will always keep that one, yeah. uh, that colour. You can also do things like change the speed for that particular needle as well. So if you were going to use that on um, a difficult fabric or you had metallic threads going yes. through, that yeah. kind of thing, you can also stop the needle threader working on that <clears throat> needle as well. So on all those things, you just press the, the one you want to work on and then alter it as you need to. Um, I'll just reset all of that there because you don't want that. And I'll unanchor it. Okay. Right. So that's, that's really nice because you can really sort of fine tune it to what you want to use it for mm -hmm. and you've always got a reset option as yeah. well. Okay so this machine has got a special feature in it with a camera so we can actually take a picture of the hoop so it could be that like we've done the embroidery here already or it could be a pattern on a garment or it could be a neckline it could be a scout's neckerchief so you've got the point that you want to embroider on the on the point of that. So uh, what we're going to do is put some lettering in uh, so you've got loads of fonts in here as well. You've got um, 27 normal fonts and then you've got uh, all of your tiny ones as well. Um, let's put in a name. Okay, so I've got large, medium and small. Got my lowercase there as well. Okay, and then we'll 
I'll set that one. So this is the button I want here. So it's got the camera with, think of it with like the fabric behind it. So press that one. It'll give you a little warning that it's going to scan and it takes the image of the hoop. Okay, so we can see our image on there and then I can move my design wherever I want it to go. I've got other options in my text area here so I can curve the letter in round. I can alter how much curve I want it to have. Um, I can move it a bit more as well, position it exactly where I want it to go. And then I can also look at that close up. I can zoom in on that to see where the positioning is and just check that that's okay. And I can also do a little stitch preview in here just to see how that's going to stitch out. Okay, I've got my scan feature. So again, I can do that with the camera as well. Um, or I can just still just drop down a needle here and just scan around the edge so I can see the positioning of that. And then I'll go to embroidery and we can press go. guides for the table already on so they actually come on the machine now on the PR1055X they come already set and we have the table here so let's line that up those in there slide it in like that and then you'll have a little screw underneath a big screw underneath so you just need to undo these I lift it up, uh, so I'm just going to grab my screwdriver and do that. And then you'll be able to lift it up and just lock it in place. I just need to do a bit more. So, so then they sort of slide in so it's properly locked in. Because obviously it can go quite fast, this machine, so that's all nice and secure now. That's not going anywhere. Want to put our design here like this so this is my positioning marker okay so then i can put my snowman on here make my cross a bit bigger we have to see what i'm doing Okay, and then we'll put that on here. And then when we go to edit end, we've got our snowman there. And this is, us, it's asking you where you want the design in relation to the snowman, okay? So it might be that you want the snowman to be here, so the design will start right. at the middle point <coughs> or to the left, to the right, wherever you want it to go. So if we do it in the middle, that's okay. Let's now have a search for the snowman. Okay, so it's found it. remove the snowman that's okay so you can see now it's angled the design and positioned it over there 
So when we go to embroidery, it's asking us to change the colours, but we'll leave what we've got in there for now. So it's just really good for positioning in a certain area on the bottom. So that was a quick video on the PR1055X from Brother. Um, so if you liked the video, let us know. If there's any other details um, or features on the machine that you'd like to see um, in a bit more detail, just let us know as well in the comments. Um, like and subscribe, and also visit our website at www.sewmachinesuk.co.uk. Thank you.